January. I guess this is a more typical January in Portugal, a cold winter, so um, it's been cold now for over a week. It's like really cold, so the ground is frozen solid. And then during the day, it warms up. So um, the story that I'm about to tell you, you'll see me working in the garden in the afternoon, sort of mid-morning, early afternoon, mid to late afternoon. And it's glorious out here. It's really warm because this gets all the the afternoon sun. And sit in the, out and have some lunch. Okay, you've got jumpers and coat on maybe, but it's really nice. So, but in the morning it's bitterly cold and if you go in the shadow. But you might have seen, um, the story that I'm going to tell you is, I'm with the weather the way that it is, I'm starting to make preparations for the coming season. So I've, we've been trimming vines, cutting branches off trees, which reminds me I still need to do the apple tree and I don't know how I'm going to get up there to do it. And um, Chris has started um, to dismantle the roof of the garage because we're trying to sort the walls out and sort and reduce the amount of water that when it does rain we've got pouring down the back of there because there's so much debris and soil trapped which has been useful as you may have already seen I used it to fill a raised bed but it's what do you do with all the rubble and the waste so this story uh, I You'll have seen a hint if you're eagle-eyed. I, I made a raised bed, <laughs> experimented with some of the roof tiles just as a way of reusing them. So um, that's worked. I think it's worked quite well. Anyway, I'll let you be the judge of that and tell me what you think at the end. The cold weather arrived with a crescendo as we had our first snow, and only our second snow on this mountain. It brought a glorious beauty, but also reinforced just how cold it really was, as it was soon followed by the east wind. Once the snow had left, it did mean that the days during the afternoon, in particular, were sunny and tolerable out on the terrace, and a good time to get on with some of the jobs that I had been planning. Today's job, or my next little piece of things that I want to do, I've got my fingers going again. Um, it's what do I do with lots and lots and lots of roof tiles that we no longer need? So the roof tiles are coming off the garage roof and at some point they're going to have to come off the kitchen roof as well because that was leaking over the winter and that's a lot of tiles and it's where the heck do we put these or how do we use them? So I have an idea for what to do with some of them that I'm going to try out is I'm going to try and make a raised bed. So initially it's, a, it's kind of going to be a cold frame until we can get the former pigsty area sorted out and then that will be, I hope, unless plans change, the place where I can start seeds off. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. So I've already got the space marked out, now I just have to move the tiles and, and play really and see if it works. <laughs>
I experimented with using a ridge tile to strengthen the corners and create a separate little planting area, but I needed to break it because it was too tall. Oops, then there was a bit of a disaster. I'd wanted to use the wider end of the ridge tile, but that snapped where I didn't want it. So I fortunately managed to salvage the bottom half and use that instead. using one of the ridge tiles as, uh, to go across the corner because that way at the moment what I'm going to do here is put seeds I'm going to get some plastic and cover it over and I'm going to put all the seeds that I want to plant in here and then just leave it covered over and it will be it will act like a coal frame but then later on in the year um, I could I, I could put flowers and or plants in here and because it's raised up and and sort of I can cover it over. When there's heavy rain, hopefully the soil's not going to keep being washed down there because there is quite a significant slope here. Um, from this angle, you can't see it. That's what's so weird about this land. You go and stand somewhere else, and suddenly you're like, oh, I've got um, that sloping right down. Good afternoon, Mrs. Nicola. And how are you? No, you can't sit on my knee because I'm not sitting down. Uh, you can't sit on my knee. I know you what you like sitting on me. Nicola likes if you even try to sit down or look like you're going to sit down, a little brown doggy appears and wants to sit on someone's knee, don't you? You just like me. You don't care who they are, you're just gonna sit on me. I been very affectionate this afternoon. I've had a little proposal and I've got one from you. I'm not sitting down at the moment. Come on. Yeah. Come on then. That's a good girl. Go on. You know how before I said that um, it was about using up stuff that we'd already got through? It sounds really awful. It doesn't sound awful, it's just the way it is. Um, it's way too hot. I'm way too hot out here. Um, I currently have three layers on and these are insulated. They're also very filthy so. But um, it's late afternoon. So this is probably the hottest part of the day. Uh, this morning the ground was totally frozen so we were down at zero at least. There's ice and all sorts but then in the now this part of the day so this is coming around half past three, three o'clock. It is roastingly hot. It's really lovely but it will drop really quickly. So um, one of the things that I said before was about using material that we'd already got hanging around the farm and on the raised bed, I want to 
kind of create like a canopy and I've seen these ideas where people are using um, pipe water pipes PEX pipes I think and some like black pipe and we've got loads of it hanging around so I'm like okay now it's like this so I've used bits and had spares and I'm thinking might as well try and see if I can use this up and create um, like an, a, an arch and then cover it with plastic and that's where I can grow some things and at the moment I'm just putting seeds um, so here we go see if I can get it to fasten there so these are just pieces that are in the we're in the stone house so create a measure I reckon about five of them should should I think okay the fun part is trying to get them the same length especially when they're all curved okay is that right yeah Ooh. Sorry, just behind you is the Estrella Mountains and I can actually see a little bit of snow on the top of there. Anyway, I'm going to carry on and enjoy my nice lunch. I might actually go and get my hat because it's very bright and I need to just think. But it is cold. I might have to go and get a jacket as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. And then the next challenge is going to be after this cold spell, it's sort of removing all the plants now that have quite rightly and necessarily died off. And it's like, okay, go and clear up and start getting everything ready for spring and the kind of planty stuff. Because apparently it's um, early to mid February is when you put onions in. So I'm kind of creating space for the onions to go in and then working out what I want to put around the onions and before, do you know what I mean? So I've been collecting wood as well. Cold behind me. Anyway, this is getting cold or cold, so bye for now. Oh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. 
And before you leave, give this video a like and I will see you again very soon in a completely different type of weather. Huh? No, this is my lunch and it's already gone cold. Mm-hmm.